Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a ComSol tutorial on effective diffusivity in porous materials. And I'm using ComSol 6.0 and this tutorial is available on their website in the application library. So to conserve my voice, I'm gonna try something different today and uh, do a silent tutorial. So I'm just gonna be going through all the actions and I might put some um, text cues on later, uh, but my voice is still recovering, so I won't be talking this video. Hope you don't mind. So, let's get started.
Alright, so that was it. This one was a little more involved, um, so it took me a while to get through this. Uh, I was going back through it at the end, and I was just trying to find how they calculated these numbers so it was clear where epsilon came from, that came from our integration and in the table, and then diffusion D1 for the 1D model um, is calculated. By this equation, d effective is d times epsilon over tau. So they sort of do some hand waving here. Um, epsilon is the porosity of the structure and tau is the torosity, which is tortuosity, which is a measure of the actual length per unit effective length a molecule has to diffuse in a porous structure. So we found um, epsilon to be 0.383. The value of tau can then be calculated to 1.62. But they just sort of provide it. They don't say where that came from. And I could not find it online. So, I mean, if you were doing this for a physical problem, you would likely have the um, either these input values P um, or the tortuosity but I was just sort of curious and then with the output with the graphs we made here uh, let's go back to results and I oh know it was the point graph one and two so the first one we did was the 2d model in the solid blue line and then after that we did the 1d model which became this dotted green line and the point was just that they're nearly identical they're almost overlaying each other so the 1d model is very accurate and not much accuracy is lost to do a much simpler um, geometry and simpler um, computation. I mean in this case it's only 2D versus 1D. They both only took a few seconds. But that is interesting and um, good to know that you can, if you have a flow through a porous media, there is a special um, module you can buy for that. But that's in addition to the COMSOL 
base multi-physics package, which is all I have. So if you're in the same boat, this is sort of a helpful workaround for modeling flow through porous media with just the basic multi-physics and creating a geom geometry like this, um, even if, uh, you know, the, the holes in the porous media, the pores themselves are not homogeneous as we've modeled them here, like they point out the concentration um, profile the exact concentration of the pore structure is not the most important issue because the description of the structure is homogenized. So this is sort of an idealized imagination of a porous material where likely you'd have some really large pores and some tiny pores and some medium sized pores and some pores that get clogged and some that, you know, have a higher throughput so the exact concentration at any point won't be homogeneous like this but the more interesting issue is the description of the flux because probably what we really care about is you know how much is going in versus how much is coming out because even if you do have poor blockage um you, you don't really care like which individual port is getting blocked. You just care how much is coming out this side, whether it's, you know, water coming in and water leaving. Um, like they say, the more important issue is the description of the flux, which you can do with 2D or 1D here. So you, if you want to do this yourself, they do have, they offer the geometry file on Comsol, um, where I found this tutorial in their application library. But I wanted to get the practice in actually creating the geometry from scratch. So that's why I went to the appendix first and created the geometry from scratch with the um, array function, which was new to me. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found something useful from it, and I'll see you in my next video.